Hey guys, doing a short video here of the install of the honeycomb uh, table install on the blue and white laser. This is the um, the 50 watt. Um, I did some other uh, add-ons too. I'll do another video. But um, what I did was I just bought a sheet about the same size as the original table that you see inside. And um, what I'm doing is I just measured out where the uh, the threaded rod is that goes on the table right there. And then I marked it with the tape measure, taped it, then I just cut it. Now, it, it, this stuff is really flimsy, guys, if you've never bought it before. But look at this. It's not, it's not real rigid. So my plan is just to leave it sit on top of the table for now, I guess. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to drill a bunch of holes in the original table. I'm not going to take it off. I'm going to make it as easy as possible. I'm just going to cut the corners off and lay it flat right on that table in the bottom in there. And I'm going to drill holes in the original table. I'm not going to take the table out and read, lift this up from the table. I know you want to air to escape, but I'm going to put enough holes in the, the original table. So when this sits on top, all the, all the exhaust and smoke will go out through the bottom still. But I bought this uh, off eBay. Um, it was kind of a, it was $30 shipped for 17 and a quarter by 24 and a quarter. I went a little bit, just a tad bigger than the table that's in here. <clears throat> but then I changed the size and he didn't charge me. So um, it could be a few dollars more if you had it done. But um, it's 17 and a quarter by 24 and a quarter. So I'm just, like I said, I just taped them off and I cut it. Now the, 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 I'm going to take this one that I have cut off. The way you cut it, I'm going to set it right on top. It doesn't have to be perfect because I know I got a little bit of space. I'm just using these uh, these wire, these sheet metal cutters that's all it, it, this stuff is so thin when i tell you it's really thin the the wall of these is got to be somewhere around oh <laughs> one the 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 actual wall of this cell and i'm just going to go on here like this line that up like i said i don't it doesn't have to be perfect so i'm just going to line this up once i see where it's going to be so i'm just going to stick it down in there snip done done that cell is done so i'm just going to go all the way up all the way up the cells and then all the way over and then that corner will be done i'm going to pause the video i'm going to do all the corners and then i'm going to show you how i just slide it in and how it looks and how it fits in there and then um, i'll put the links in the description for the ebay guy that i bought this so um that's it so i'm going to pause it and i'll be back okay guys i got it installed um this stuff is really, really flimsy, uh, flimsy guys. Um, like I was telling you before, the walls of each cell, of the honeycomb cell, is really thin. I'm going to say it's 01. I didn't measure it. I got a micrometer. I could, I could do that, but um, it's not really important. Um, it is really flimsy. So you're not going to replace your main table with this because it's so flexible. This is the quarter inch uh, height. You can get like three eighths, a half inch, maybe even an inch. He's got different thickness um, I don't think it's gonna make it any more rigid the only way it's gonna make it more rigid are these cells are wider the walls and they're not so anyways you can see like I told you I cut the the corners off and I just laid it in here and um, it's from edge to edge even though you don't cut from edge to edge um, I wanted to cover it I didn't want it to look like half done um, so um, now that it's in here I can put some uh, I could put some compound, some of that like uh, that rubberized um, uh, sugru or something like that on the corners and stuff like that if I want, just to keep it from not moving. It's it's only going to move a little bit. Um, and the other thing is, if you drop stuff on here, it's gonna it's gonna dent these. The way these are now, they're strong. Like you could, I could put my pressure, my hand on there with pressure. Um, but you know, if you drop something on there, like. You know this piece of aluminum block it's going to dent it up so you know you're going to have to be a little bit more careful when you're using it but there's huge benefits to having it to release the smoke and air from the backside. only if you're going to raise it up you can't raise this up because it's so thin flimsy like it really is too flimsy even if i put a frame on it it's going to flex it's really flimsy so um i my just i wanted to do this on a budget anyways i wanted to just put it on top of the table I'll drill some holes. I'll drill all this out. Just in those areas where there's no lines in there. I'll drill all that out. That'll give me the most uh, air uh, smoke evacuation um, as I can.
Um, and that's it. I mean, I didn't want to go through the whole thing of taking this out and taking that table off. There's really no reason to because this uh, honeycomb is, like I said, it's it's more of a table topper, not not a replacement table. So, uh, but that's it. You can see, hey, it looks nicer. It looks nicer. Fits uh, fits perfect on my table. So now if I lay something down, you know, I don't have to worry about raising it up and stuff like that, especially when I'm in those areas. Plus you get less material on the back side, so you don't get as much flashing. I mean, I know it is aluminum, so you might it might reflect a little bit, but um, nothing worse than what the table was originally, that flat piece that's on here. Um, I know they're probably trying to save money on the 50 watts, but they should have, you know, put a honeycomb table on these too. I mean, it makes really no sense not to. So if you're looking to do a honeycomb uh, table upgrade, um, I'm going to put the link to the, to the eBay seller. I'm sure most of you guys know you've searched already and you probably have already found them. Um, but just my review on the product itself. Um, just remember, it's really flimsy. Um, the walls are thin, so it could dent pretty easy if you drop something on here. Not like this. It seems pretty sturdy, like I said, if you lay stuff down carefully. But if you drop stuff, it's going to dent it up. Um, and uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it uh, for a budget. It was what I needed, and it, it, it turned out to be exactly what I wanted. So thirty bucks shipped to my door, and just trimmed out the corners, and you got yourself a honeycomb uh, table. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, just let me know, and, and don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, my my channel's been around for over ten years now, and. Um, I want to get more videos up there and more content and uh, you know I'm not your average YouTuber I'm just more of a uh, reviewer of my own stuff and documenting stuff that I have done or whatever so I'll be doing more videos so thanks for watching guys